I'd like to welcome everyone here to the boardwalk. Uh, there's a lot of excitement about our events here that we have in the city, especially on the pier here at that Memorial Park. This year we're going to have more happening at all of our parks, Washington Park, the Point, uh, over at Wright Park as well. So we're going to be uh, moving things around all around the city on our waterfront. Uh, and so I would like to have a special recognition for our special uh, events coordinator, Ryan Hall, and his team uh, for putting together a really good lineup uh, for this season. And uh, I'd like to commend uh, Ryan Hall, Scott Mikas, Avon Hernandez, Nicole Clift, E.J. Hayes, and our uh, planning and development director, Vince DeJoy. Can we have a round of applause for that team? And as you know, uh, these events do not happen without the support from our community. We have uh, many sponsors that help us out every year, and we are very grateful as mayor. I'm very grateful to all the sponsors. Uh, some of our sponsors are smaller than others, but all of them count, uh, and it's very important to acknowledge them. Uh, we'll start with DFT Communications, Chautauqua Nursing and Rehabilitation Center, National Grid, Arthur R. Gren Company and Southern Tier Brewing Company, Immunity Bio, Lolly Insurance, Brooks TLC Healthcare System, Nestle Purina, Key Bank, Agricultural Transportation, Ferro Roofing, Refresco Beverages, Graf Realty, Lakeshore Savings Bank, Owl Homes, Chautauqua Opportunities, Chautauqua Leadership Network, Merritt Winery, Stell, Hometown Insurance, Southern Chautauqua Federal Credit Union, APG, The Clarion Hotel, Party With Us Event Rentals, El Rigby Theater, and the Resource Center. We have many others that have also supported us in many different ways, and I just want a round of applause for all of our sponsors, please. Uh, one of the events that we're bringing back to the city this year, right here on our waterfront on the pier, is uh, boxing. We're going to have a boxing ring placed here this summer. And we're going to have a boxing show, and I'll let uh, Ryan Hall talk to you a little bit about that. Uh, at this time, I would like to uh, just make sure that everyone knows that the band here is going to continue to play when we're done here. I uh, welcome everyone to visit the shops here and join us in. We're going to be hanging out here for a little while today. So enjoy yourselves, and I'll turn it over to uh, Ryan Hall now. Thank you. All right, just be before I uh, go over our event schedule, uh, a couple quick announcements. Uh, quick shout-out to our, our band, Footsteps. Like the, like the mayor said, they'll be playing right after the, uh, the conclusion of our press conference. And also... Um, Sponsor-wise, I, I know we have a couple of sponsors out there uh, today. Oh, I'm going to switch this mic up. Um, too, too tall here. A um, couple sponsors out there today. Uh, thank you for being here. Um, I truly do appreciate the partnership that we've developed. I started this on this job a couple years ago. So I truly do. Huge shout-out to the sponsors out there. Thank you. Like I say this at every event. Without you, sponsors, we wouldn't have events like this, so thank you so much. All right, with that being said, I promised somebody here earlier I'm not going to read down the whole list like last year. I think I was up for 25 minutes. So, um, so I'm going to start off with our Music on the Pier Summer Con Series. Um, our presenting sponsors... DFT Communications, I know they have some representatives here today, and Chautauqua Nursing and Rehabilitation Center. Um, and our stage sponsor will be our Natural Grid. And our Music on the Pier Summer Concert Series will be starting June 8th and run all the way up until August 24th. A couple different uh, things that we have going on this year for our Music on the Pier 
We are going to be at the park for four, four low, uh, locations, four dates, and then the rest, eight dates, uh, will be on the pier. And also, um, me and Scott, my festival assistant, you know, we've been brainstorming throughout, you know, this uh, winter months. And we thought this year would be one of the cool things to do. Um, each week, we're going to have a music genre. And I'm just going to read down each week the, of the genres. And we, obviously, we, we, all, we all know we have our opening act and then followed by our headliner. Both those will work together and we'll have a, each week a genre. So a couple of the genres we'll be starting off will be uh, R&B, Rhythm and Blues Night, up uh, 60s Motown Night, a 90s Night, 80s MTV Tribute Night, a Country Night, which we'll be having Sean Patrick McGraw come back to his hometown. He hasn't been performed here in a couple of years, so pretty excited about that. Americana Night. Hard Rock Night, New Wave Night, Classic Rock Night, Roots Rock Night, our big one, 70s Night Sponsored by DFT and Chautauqua Nursing. And we'll be having, I've been working to get this uh, gentleman coming on down. Um, he's been voted the top Elton John Tribute Group in the whole East Coast, so we're very excited for that. And that'll be August 17th. And our two main sponsors of our uh, summer concert series, DFT and Chautauqua Nursing, they'll be sponsoring that event. And then our finale is going to be our 80s night, sponsored by Chautauqua Opportunities Fatherhood, that are in attendance. Moving on, our annual Memorial Day Parade, and that will be uh, held May 29th. Always, that's always a good time, usual route. Um, and like I said, all these more details of all these events will be on our Facebook page. Our Dunker Flea Market, held right on over here in Washington Avenue parking lot, May 6th. It'll be Saturdays, May 6th, running up until uh, September 2nd. A new event, uh, Cystic Fibrosis Foundation, Chautauqua County, Great Strides. That'll be held, uh, it'll be a walk, um, be held at Point Gratiot on June 3rd. Dunkirk Farmer's Market, it's always very popular. Um, E.J. Hayes is the main person in charge of that, and that will be held on Wednesdays, June 14th through October 11th. And coming on down to our um, first true festival, it's our Fight Off for Summer kickoff. Um, it's one of our newer events last year. Um, you know, we, we had a started brought this uh, event back. Um, it was a Dunkirk Firefighter Hose Race, and it was held right here. We had a couple, you know, I think Jamestown Fire Department, Sheridan Fire Department, a couple others. Um, it was a really cool event. Uh, we're going to bring it back again this year, and that'll be part of our Fired Up for Summer kickoff, and that'll be Friday night, June 9th. And that'll be followed um, with our... We, I don't think we've had a polka band perform on the pier in a long time, so that we're pretty excited about that. Uh, I'm not Polish, so I don't know. But that will be held right on our pier Friday night, and that will be part of our uh, um, Fire Up for Summer kickoff. And our Saturday event, uh, like the mayor uh, stated, and I'm very excited about this, is a, a new event, um, and this will be our boxing event. It's an amateur boxing event presented by 2XL, which is a local boxing gym here. Um, just a quick uh, backstory with that. Um, maybe it's just, I'm selfish. I've always been a huge boxing fan. And I know growing up, even before my time, boxing has been a very important sport in our area. And I'm really excited that the 2XL program is back up and running. So I, I'm really looking forward to that event. So please come on down. It's a free, Free event. We'll have a ring right on on the pier. Um, am strictly amateur. It's all sanctioned, and it'll be a good good time. So please all come on down to that event. All right, moving on down. We have, I have our 27th annual Juneteenth celebration at Memorial Park. Um, I know Loretta and Frank Terrain, they, they put on a great great uh, event for that, and that'll be uh, starting June 17th and June 18th. 
Then we have our Movies in the Park series, um, and we will be having foreshadowing here to our July 1st uh, event as part of our basketball tournament. But we are uh, having a movie after that event, and then we're having another movie as part of our Beach Bash, um, and that'll be presented by El Rigby Theater. All right, our 4th of July celebration. Um, we'll be having, like I just stated, July 1st is our start of our 4th of July celebration, and we'll be having our uh, youth slash adult um, summer jam on Ab Central Avenue. It's a three on three tournament. It'll be right in front of our city hall. We had that a couple years ago. Um, a lot of people have been asking, can we bring it back, bring it back? And uh, so we're having that, I'm very excited for that, having that coming on back. And that will be starting at uh, 9 a.m. and run all the way up on Saturday, July 1st. And we'll have a movie right after the conclusion of that event. <coughs> Followed by July 3rd and July 4th, our annual 4th of July celebrations. Those events will be held right at Memorial Park. And the last one I'm, I'm talking, because I know you guys are probably sick of seeing this, this face up here, um, but our last event I'm going to be talking about is Music at the Point Sun Sunset Series, and that is sponsored by Stell. Last year, um, and first off, the Point is a great, great, great area, especially with that sunset, the backdrop, um, for having music and events. So um, we only had four events last year. Uh, you know, why don't we you know expand a little bit? So we are very excited uh, at having four additional events. Um, so that will be starting July 5th, running all the way up to August 23rd. So before I pass uh, pass on the mic on over to uh, my festival's assistant Scott Mikas, um, quick shout out. You know, I get I get get a lot of credit you know for being this position, but I have a great team that has helped me, and I'm also the youth and rec coordinator. Um, Patty Brzezlewski, Yvonne Hernandez, Scott Mikas, and also development, and, all, and also, you know, even the police department, the fire department, DPW, I know we have the two DPW directors out there. Thank you guys so much. Um, without all our help and the guidance of uh, Mayor Rosas, we wouldn't have events like this either. So thank you all. And at this time, I'm gonna pass the mic on over to Scott Mikas. Thank you. Hey guys, I'm Scott Mikas, Festivals uh, Specialist here at uh, Dunkirk Festivals. Uh, thanks for coming out today. A uh, couple things I wanted to go over before I went over my parts is uh, a special thanks to Nikki right here, Nikki Cliff. She helped with the design of this brochure, so hands off to uh, Nikki. Thanks so much, Nikki. Um, also, we only printed about 500 brochures today, so if you guys notice any typos or any events that we missed or anything like that, let us know like this week ASAP because we are going to do another production of uh, 15,000 of them, and we want to make sure they're right. So um, media that are here today, thanks for the media for coming out. Um, you should have received an uh, email to your phone like 30 seconds ago, and it has all the information today to your email. If you didn't get that email, that means I didn't have your email, so give it, get, uh, come see me after the press conference, and I can um, forward that to you right away if you need it for tomorrow's um, advertising. Uh, also, really quick, um, a round of applause for DFT Communications. I think we have Dan Syracuse here and Shannon Davis. Where's Dan and uh, Shannon? Right here. So, a round of applause to DFT. Thank you guys for sponsoring um, a lot of years. We really appreciate your support. And then we have Brittany Hutchinson. Is Brittany here? Brittany, right over here. So, Brittany from Chautauqua Nursing and Rehab Center. Thank you so much. They stepped up and uh, they uh, are both platinum sponsors this year. So, so thanks again for that. Uh, the events that we're talking about next is uh, Fair in the Square Vendor Market. So last year we did Christmas in July, we did it in Memorial Park. We decided to do it on the other side of town. We're going to have it in Washington Park. It's called Fair in the Square. There's going to be a whole mess of kids activities, vendors, things like that. That is going to be on July 15th. Um, new this year is Highmark Blue, Cla Blue Cross Blue Shield of Western New York is going to present Community Day in Dunkirk at Washington Park on August 5th. So we'll have one event in July, one event in August at the Washington Park. Um, our annual Beach Bash will take place on August 19th. Um, everyone knows about that. What's really interesting about that um, event is we have a big pickleball population here, and they always like coming and having their tournament that day. So we're looking forward to that. Uh, back to School Bash at Point Gratiot. Uh, that's sponsored again by DFT, Chautauqua Nursing, Dunker Public Schools, United Way of Northern Chautauqua County. That's on August 28th. 
Um, another um, annual event is our third annual Latino Lakefront Festival at 64 Lakeshore East Lot between the Clarion and Tim Hortons. Uh, that will be September 2nd. Uh, winter events, really quick, mark your calendars. I know it's far away, but December, uh, I, I'm sorry, November 25th, we're going to have Christmas on Central again, Small Business Saturday. We brought it downtown. Um, it was a huge turnout the, uh, last year, and we're going to bring it back. Uh, new this year, we are going to add a Dunkirk holiday parade that we're excited about. Uh, we just have too much work to do that day, so it's not going to be the same day as uh, Christmas on Central. It's going to be December 1st, so that is a Saturday, and we're going to call it the Dunkirk holiday parade. So look out for information on that. And now I'd like to turn the mic over to Vince DeJoy, who's our uh, Director of Planning and Development. So Vince. Thank you so much, Scott, and thank you, Ryan, and, and all of the festivals and events staff here. Without you, you know, we couldn't put on this summer series that, that's just amazing, that brings so much tourism and so many people from outside the area, as well as the people that live here in the Dunkirk and, and, and in the surrounding area that come and enjoy the beautiful events that we have here at Memorial Park and, and, and on the pier. Um, I want to have a little shout out to our uh, also... You've mentioned some of the other departments, DPW, our public safety, fire, and DPW. But we also have our building and zoning uh, uh, department here, and they're standing guard over our new zero uh, emission vehicle Mustang that, that the city was able to purchase through a complete grant from NYSERDA, and, and they look really sharp driving that around uh, town. So if you see that, wave to them as they're uh, going by and uh, inspecting some properties. But I, I just want to say that... Um, Without Mayor Rosa's vision and ideas and input, and then bringing it together with our, uh, our festivals and events and development department, uh, that is what, what basically drove the city being eligible to win $10 million in the Downtown Revitalization Initiative. This waterfront activation is a key component to why we in Dunkirk will have $10 million to invest in this area and, and hopefully the, the energy will come up Central Avenue and we will see some great projects. But we're going to see some great projects being considered here this summer um, with a downtown revitalization initiative process that will invest some key um, significant funds into this area. The marina, Memorial Park, and uh, businesses down in, in this uh, sector. So. Stay tuned for that. It's going to be a real exciting summer with all our events. It's going to be a real exciting summer as we reimagine what Dunkirk will be in the future with all this development. So with that, I also want to lastly say that this is going to be a great summer, and we have some great tenants here at the Boardwalk Marketplace. Um, starting off with uh, Campy's Pizza, who will be opening up on uh, April 29th, and Chai's Chocolates will be opening on May 1st. Uh, Shorty's Kitchen is currently open and Treasures by the Lake will also be opening on May 1st. We're going to have some a new business um, at the end cap here at what was uh, Papaya Arts and uh, stay tuned for that. We will be making that announcement um, sometime in the near future but tonight let's celebrate here today at Off the Hook and uh, at uh, Spike Daly's um, after this event, because uh, it's a beautiful day, and why not celebrate Dunkirk? So thank you very much, and I'll turn it over to the mayor. I want to thank everyone for coming as we uh, conclude here this presentation. We'd like to.